you don't notice about our lights? Hmm? They're crap. <laughs> Why can't have big fancy lights like Nicky Reuter does? Because I didn't marry a doctor like Nicky's mom did. <laughs> Lucky slut. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. Where did you get it? Uh, the lot down the street. Why didn't you just get it from the blind guy's yard like we usually do? Like she said, the lot down the street. You know, what is the point of having a great tree if the outside of the house looks like... Like... Our house? Yes. I'll tell you what. Any extra lights you find, you can put up outside any way you want. Ah, sweet. If he's going to be hanging lights, I better show him where his wet shoes are. Kimberly! You will never! happened it's something wonderful don't be jerking my chain about a menudo reunion <laughs> we're getting a pew down at the church dedicated to the family wow the gamble name on a plaque on the side of a pew we're going to heaven for sure <laughs> your people go to a special section of heaven it's called hell i hear it's warm there i better pack a thong now i got that picture in my head Pamela, I want you to write the family Christmas newsletter this year. Can't I just go to hell with Butch? No, no, the family needs to know about the pew, and I don't want to toot my own horn. Am I the only one who thinks pew is a funny word? Shut up. Well, yes. Pew. Well, the newsletter's kind of your thing. I don't even know what to write about. Well, it's only a page, and, and most of that should concern the pew. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just funny. It's not funny. Pamela, put in something about my poker club, too, will you? Something like, uh, as the year draws to a close, all the original members of the Southside Poker Club are still alive, except for Leo, who died. <laughs> See, it practically writes itself. Well, but not actually. So here, get writing. Now, I brought you some samples of my previous newsletters. Come on, Joni. Let's hurry up and drop off those old clothes for the needy. They're stinking up our car. <laughs> hey, my name's not in here at all. No mention at all of her gay son. How queer. Odd. No, 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 look. It mentions you. Look here. Mom's fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny about that? What? You have to write a newsletter and I don't. Why don't you dump this on me? I would look at it as the gift of power. The power to out your brother. Oh, I don't know, Butch. I mean, it would be fun and it would kill her and all, but... I... Oh, come on. It'd be good for her to finally get it out in the open. I mean, everybody knows anyway. Yeah, I guess so. And without a little family shame, it just wouldn't be Christmas. <laughs> Okay, well, how would I say it? Well, it wants to be classy. Mr. and Mrs. William Gamble are proud to announce the raging homosexuality of their son, Butch. <laughs> it does practically write itself, doesn't it? And who knows? It might finally help Mom get over it. All these cool decorations I got. When will they start putting airbags in sleighs? <laughs> Can you believe what people just throw in the trash? Where do you think we found you? <laughs> I'm gonna put these up right away. Yeah, hose them off first. Like we did you. <laughs> Your mother trusted you with her most sacred newsletter, and look at her. <laughs> you should not be allowed to type. He made me. Good night. Shut up, stupid ass. You're stupid. Cut out. I think you're overreacting, Dad. Oh, am I? A copy of your X-rated filth rag went to Reverend Burns. And now we're not going to get our pew. <laughs> what kind of church is this? He takes something away from you because of who I am? I'm going to go down to that church and have a little talk with the Reverend. Tell him you're not gay. I'm not going to do that. Oh, what kind of values do you have? Won't lie to a holy man to make your mother happy. Get her that pew. <laughs> Even when they're 
they're mad it's funny <laughs> so butch good to see you oh really is it is it really good to see me reverend burns it really is what can i do for you you can give my mother back her pew i'm sorry i can't do that why not that woman runs your bake sale, she teaches your Sunday school, she even reads to the blind guy down in the corner. You know, the guy that's always getting his tree stolen? Your mother does do good work. That's right. She earned that pew, and you cannot take it away from her because I am gay. Shame on you. Shame on you, Reverend Burns. This has nothing to do with you being gay. It has to do with your father. Come again? I noticed in your newsletter that your father is involved in the Southside Poker Club. And poker is evil? No, but it has come to my attention that the members of that club are involved in some highly questionable activities. Really? Questionable enough to be depewed? Absolutely. Oh, this is too good. What'd they do? I'm not at liberty to say. Can you tell me who told you? I can't say. Did you write it down on a piece of paper and only accidentally leave it on the side of the desk? No. Come on! I can't. If the activity stops, I'll reconsider giving your mother her pew. What activity? You're not going to trick me. <laughs> Look who's playing God. You know, I was thinking about Dan's Poker Club. It's a perfect cover for a militia group. A lot of room in that basement to march. No, it's insurance fraud. I saw it on 60 Minutes once. One old guy goes in the store, knocks the yogurt off the shelf. The other one comes by, slips in it. 30 grand, easy. Sure know a lot about it. Are you saying I didn't hurt my neck at the mini mark? Charlie thinks her into some kind of pornography thing. Ew. What kind of porn would those old guys be into? You know, wrinkle fetishes, big underwear. Oh, God, every time he says that, he's either bleeding or holding something dead. <laughs> Check this out, I'm in the paper. You're kidding. Local youth decorates house. That's me, I'm a local youth. Wow. A member of our family in the paper and no mention of a UFO. <laughs> or the face of Elvis on a pizza. That's actually how he died. So when did all this happen? Well, I was outside hanging lights and this strange man came by. So I invited him in and he asked me some questions. I guess he was a reporter. <laughs> You're gonna look good on the side of a milk carton. I'm getting even bigger lights tomorrow. I am Christmas! Ha ha ha! It's time to test my porno theory. The poker game's going on right now at Grandpa's house. Good sleuthing, Charles. Are you coming? Try to stop me. Hmm. <laughs> okay, here's the plan. We knock on the door and then go in. It's just crazy enough to work. <laughs> oh. oh, what a surprise! I was just baking. Don't try and distract us. We're here to see Dad. No, no, no. He's, he's down in the basement with his poker buddies. All right, let's go. No, no, no. You can't go down there. They don't let anybody go down there. Not even me. No, I have to leave the cookies on the top of the stairs. Mm. And why is that, Mom? Oh, you know men. Oh, yeah, I do. But we're talking about Dad. <laughs> they are down there with their poker and their fancy cigars. And perhaps some sort of film? Maybe an insurance form? Mm -hmm. I don't know that much about poker. Okay. Give me these. We're going in. Well, you stay here. Why does he get to go? Your father doesn't want any women down there. Like I said, why does he get to go? Does it smell what I think it is? Well, it ain't cookies. They're smoking pot. We're in a room of 70-year-old stoners. Well, it's official. Pot is no longer cool. Hey, Ralph, give him your teeth. Oh, yeah. Come on, the lower ones, too. <laughs> so, Denty, how you doing? I got good news and bad news. The good news 
news is I lost a lot of weight. <laughs> the bad news is I got a toothache. <laughs> hey, you know what bites? What? Me! <laughs> that is gold! Gold! Yeah. Cookies! Oh, oh, oh yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Dad, can I talk to you for a minute? Anytime, laddie. So, you guys uh, play like this all the time? Yeah, it's more fun this way. <laughs> And you use real cash? Oh, it's only money. Yeah, you're right. What's money? Mind if I sit in? <laughs> Dad, I can't believe you're getting high. I ain't getting. I'm there. <laughs> hey, it's no biggie. Stanley has glaucoma. So you see, it's totally on the up and up. You don't have glaucoma. See? It works. <laughs> Come on, Ella. I want to introduce you to the guys. Hey, guys. This is my boy, Butchie. He's the best contractor in the whole damn state of Ohio. Just look at him. Look at that head of hair. He's funny. He's strapping. What daddy wouldn't want a boy like this? <laughs> We gotta legalize this stuff. My God. Grandpa smokes pot. What was it like being around five old druggies? Kind of like seeing the Rolling Stones. <laughs> well, you have to tell him to stop because mom really wants the gamble name on that pew. What? You didn't tell him to stop? I almost did. You know, Dad, you can't talk to him when he's stoned. <laughs> he was baked. <laughs> Sorry. Contact high. Butch, you have to tell him. You don't understand. He was nice. To me. No way. I wanted to hug him. He's my daddy. <laughs> Butch, Mom really wants that pew. All right, I'll talk to him. Could you just wait until I paid off my student loans? What'd you take them for? A couple hundred, a watch, and a bottle of Diavan. That's blood pressure medicine. And Morris will get it back as soon as he pays me the money he owes me. See what I mean, Mom? Robbie has turned our house into white trash Vegas. Honey, that's called Atlantic City. Robbie! What? Where did you get all this stuff? People saw me in the newspaper and just gave it to me. Now we'll have the brightest house in the history of normal Ohio. Well, except for the Nelsons. Honey, the Nelsons' house was on fire. <laughs> Don't you think you're overdoing it a bit? Oh, come on, Mom. Don't make me stop. All right. But just remember, all this stuff has to be put away by the end of the summer. <laughs> Mom! But Kimberly, this is a very big moment for Robbie. How many times do you think he's going to make the paper? He might get stuck in a well. He's a foot taller now. That's not going to happen again. Kimberly, you're smart. You've got a lot of potential. Robbie's got a lot of lights. I'm okay. Still alive. He'll make the paper again. Dad, I had a little talk with the reverend. And he's not taking Mom's pew away because I'm gay, but because you smoke pot. I do not. Dad, I was there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, he's perfectly willing to give it back, but you have to stop smoking. Are you telling me the Reverend thinks pot is worse than homosexuality? Who am I to judge? Some people I know like both. <laughs> Shut up, Fruit Loop. Stoner. Cream puff. Hophead. Daisy picker. Joint smoker. Do you know? Go, oh, shut up. We're not getting anywhere calling each other names, dirty beatnik. Now listen. You guys used to play cards without smoking, and you can do it again. I don't know about that. When Stanley lights up his glaucoma medicine, it's hard for anybody to resist. All it takes is a little willpower. No matter how much I eat... I can't seem to gain any weight. <laughs> Dude, you ought to be on Letterman. <laughs> okay, plan B. You can never play poker again. Oh, 
I've been playing for 30 years. Damn it, you know what sticks in my craw? Every time you find something you like, somebody tells you it's wrong. I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. New game, new location. We invite the Reverend in for a clean game. I'd like to do it for your mother, but I don't know if the guys are going to go for this. You explain it to them. They're your friends. They'll understand. All right. All right. But that pew better have cushions in it. And a footrest like the Catholics have. It. <laughs> and then the guy says to God, you said you'd save me from the flood. And then God says, hey, I sent three boats. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, huh? Oh, that is gold. <laughs> No, I think the whole thing that happened with this newsletter is really divine intervention. Yes, it showed us we were on the wrong path, right, fellas? Oh, yeah, wrong path. Yeah, I don't mind playing sober. I'm not really bored to tears at all. <laughs> but you mind if I snag myself another root beer? Go in peace. <laughs> well, I thought I could get through this game without wanting to smoke, but... God, those jokes. The guy is a hack. I'm telling you, I feel the need for weed. <laughs> Just hold your breath till you get dizzy. The night's almost over. I'll get it. I'm just here to drop off my cookies. Alice and I are making the rounds. We're spreading good cheer throughout the neighborhood. Damn it, Alice! Relax! Eat another rum ball! <laughs> I almost forgot you guys left your fancy cigars in the basement. I'm feeling more cheerful already. <laughs> Bye. Hand it over, old timer. I'm gonna twist one up, bro. There's no smoking in this house. Oh, right. Uh, sorry. sorry. Man, do I have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> Uh, why is everyone going upstairs? Uh, well, well, you see, Burns, uh, my grandson made a nativity scene on the roof, and there's a great view of it from up there. Oh, I'd like to see that. No, I don't think no, so. No, it's kind of embarrassing. You see, the three wise men are Spider-Man, Santa Claus, and Captain Picard. Maybe Jesus is a bag of ice. Sounds very creative. I'd like to see it. We said no. Sandwiches? And besides, Pamela has some questions for you. I do? Yes. Remember what we talked about last night? Old guys upstairs, doobage. Uh, I do. <laughs> yes, um, I have questions about my soul. Um, last night, I was uh, reading the Bible. And Which book? I just said, the Bible. <laughs> so, what's on your mind? Um, well, I, w um, I was wondering if... Um, well, if I get to heaven and um, I, I see someone there who I know doesn't deserve to be there, <laughs> is it wrong to tell someone what I know or would I get kicked out for making trouble? <laughs> Open that door! Come on, guys! Be right out! Did I say that or just think it? Open up! <laughs> A lot of people make that mistake, but I'm pretty sure that the right to bear arms is in the Constitution, not the Bible. Oh, 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 yeah, right. Well, if that's all. Oh, no, just one more thing. This has always bothered me. So, there's God. Duh. And then there's God's son, Jesus. What the heck is the Holy Ghost? That's God in spirit who lives among us. Oh. oh. So it's not like a boo type of a ghost. No. You know, Christianity may not be for everyone. So, how was it up there? Oh, it was good stuff. Did you see Jesus? Oh, wasn't that good? It's showtime. It's great. There's like a hundred people out there. Hey, come on, guys. So let's go outside, see the pretty lights, get some fresh air, restore some brain cells. Look what I got. Cookies. I'm here with the sister of Robbie Miller, the little boy whose heart is bigger than Christmas. You must be very proud. Oh, yes. Especially since Robbie is so desperately impaired. We were happy when he learned to walk, but this... Okay, everybody, here we go. Wow, this is gonna hurt later. Oh, 
Could this ever be great stunt? It is. <laughs> ah, looks like I blew the transformer. Better come out the pole and fix it. No, Robbie, you always go up there and you can't get down. Now I'm hungry. Road trip to Denny's. <laughs> Well, that was quite spectacular. Yeah, I'm pretty sure even the blind guy down on the corner caught that one. Bill, I admire your strength. That was a nice, wholesome game. You've earned your family a pew. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, we pulled one over on the church. Never been quite so proud. <laughs> Can't wait to tell your mother. <laughs> Imagine your mom sitting in her own pew. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It is a fun word. <laughs> you realize we actually did something together? We didn't do anything together. Dad, remember how much you liked me when you were high? Can't we have a little bit of that now? I don't like the way this conversation is going. Come on. It's Christmas, man. Open up your heart. All right, that's enough. 